making an object move or animate is essential in any 2D game. In this lecture, I will show you the whole process of creating a plane animation. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to create a frame by frame animation like this. So, let's get started. You need to find some good quality plane frames, that is images, which describe emotion. Just google cartoon flying plane gif and you will get few gif images. You should split the gif images. I usually use this site to split the gif images. But you can just google online gif splitter to get a suitable website. Let me copy and paste my plane frames in drawable folder. I have named the images plane underscore 1, plane underscore 2, etc. We need an array of type bitmap of size 15 since we have 15 plane frames. So go to gameview.java and in the class level write bitmap plane open close brackets equals to new bitmap. 15. Initialize this array elements in constructor in the same way we created the background bitmap. Plane open close brackets 0 equals to bitmap factory dot decode resource get resources comma r dot drawable dot plane underscore one repeat the process up to plane 14 next you need to declare two integer variables to keep track of the plane coordinates write in class level int plane x comma plane y semicolon initialize in constructor plane x equals to d width plus 300 plane y equals to 100 declare the velocity of plane comma velocity initialize in constructor velocity equals to 15 semicolon declare an integer variable to keep track of current plane frame number from 0 to 14 comma plane frame Initialize plane frame to 0 in constructor. Plane frame equals to 0. Next, draw the plane on canvas. Place this line after drawing the background. Inside draw bitmap method, the first parameter should be our plane array element with index value equal to plane frame. For left and top, you can give plane x and plane y respectively and for paint parameter put null. Write canvas dot draw bitmap plane open close brackets plane frame comma plane x comma plane y comma null inside on draw increment plane frame by 1 plane frame plus plus if plane frame becomes greater than 14 we should reinitialize it to 0 to indicate that the animation should start over if open close parenthesis plane frame 
greater than 14 open close curly brace plane frame equals to 0 semicolon also change the plane position by subtracting the value of velocity from plane x for right to left movement right plane x minus equals to velocity semicolon we also need to know the plane width so declare in class level int plane width and initialize in constructor plane width equals to plane open close brackets 0 dot get width semicolon since all plane frames have the same width we can take any frames width now we need to create a mechanism that when the plane completely goes out of the left edge of the screen we need to make the plane reappear from the right edge to accomplish this you need to reinitialize the plane x plane y and velocity here I am initializing plane x by screen width plus some random integer numbers so that it will appear with a random delay. Same way I am assigning plane y and velocity by some random values. An instance of random class is used to generate a stream of pseudo random numbers. So create a random object in class level. Random Random semicolon instantiate in constructor random equals to new random semicolon now as we are decrementing plane x by the amount of velocity the plane will shift from right to left when the value of plane x becomes less than minus plane width we can guarantee that the plane completely went out of the left edge of the screen. When this condition is satisfied, we will use our random object to give random values for plane x, plane y and velocity so that it reappears with a random position and velocity. The method nextint on random object returns a pseudo random integer value between 0 and 1 less than the specified value in parameter. So write this piece of code in on draw. If plane x less than minus plane width open close curly brace plane x equals to d width plus random dot next int semicolon 500 plane y equals to random dot next int semicolon 300 velocity equals to 10 plus random dot next int semicolon 10 next we will create a handler object a handler allows you to schedule runnables to be executed at some point in the future for example after some delay declare the handler object in class level handler handler semicolon make sure you import the android.os.handler package instantiate in constructor handler equals to new handler semicolon next we need a runnable instance runnable is often used to provide the code that should run later the runnable interface has a method called run 
that must be defined when we create a runnable instance. Declare in class level. Runnable Runnable Semicolon Define runnable in constructor. Runnable equals to new runnable inside the run method call invalidate method invalidate as i mentioned we need a variable of type long for delay in milliseconds to work with handler since the value will not change let's make it final write in class level final long update underscore millis equals to 30 semicolon finally we will call the post delete method on handler object which will cause the run method inside runnable to be executed after 30 milliseconds inside on draw write handler dot post delete semicolon runnable comma update millis inside the run method we have called invalidate which will call our views on draw method by android and the view will be redrawn run the app Awesome. As we can see, the plane appears from the right edge and moves towards the left edge of the screen, goes out of the left edge and after some time reappears from right. The delay in milliseconds saves some CPU resource and hence saves battery life. This is one technique of creating the game loop. So to recap, we have created a bitmap array and drawn each frame at a time on canvas. I have shown you how to move the plane and how to make it reappear in a random fashion. I have also demonstrated how to use the handler class called post delete on handler object which schedules a runnable to be executed after some delay. In the run method we have simply called invalidate. Android then called on draw method for us and the view was redrawn. This is how we created the main game loop and the animation keeps on running until we close the app. I hope you enjoyed and learned few new things from this lecture. In the next lecture, I am going to create a separate class for plane, create an array list of plane objects and handle the animation in a more object oriented way. This way we can manage more than one plane animation easily. See you there.